In this video I'm going to show you how I created this zoom effect that you see on the screen. Okay, so here we are in After Effects and I've already imported the project files over here. And to show you what those are, we got this television in the in middle of nowhere. We got this four frames. We got this photo frame and we have this photo. So the first thing we want to do over here is to select the point, the reference point to where it will be zooming in. So we will be doing that by going over here to pen behind tool, this icon, select it and while having this first layer selected we change the anchor point, we move it to over here roughly into the center of the screen. So I even renamed those layers so I'll know which order I need to follow. Now we want to mask this screen so we will zoom in by moving this mouse scrolling wheel and select pen tool over here have this selected and make a selection around the screen like so roughly and now while having first layer selected press M and then change this mask 1 to subtract and now we can see the our second layer inside of the screen. So go to second layer now and press S. Now we will scale it down until it fits the size of the screen. So I'll have it at around 10 move this like so do we have any problems over here with the mask I think no and now we want to go to first layer press S here at the beginning set a keyframe on scale move to first second set another keyframe keeping the same values now move to three seconds and zoom it in until it covers the whole screen. So over here and the problem over here is that they don't move together. So we will fix that by going over here to second layer and with this icon over here parent pick whip to pick whip icon we click on it and drag this over here while holding click and hold and then drag over here so we parent this together and now they should be moving together okay looking fine we want to do the same for others as well so go to three seconds and Now select the pen behind tool and make a center point. We want to zoom in over here and so roughly into the center. And now we want to mask this as well. So have the pen tool selected, zoom in and mask this. So make a selection around it. and press M on second layer and change this same one to subtract as well. So now we can see it inside of the frame. So I just press U to view the keyframes. So go to second layer, press S 
set a keyframe on it and go to 4 seconds and set another keyframe keeping the same values now move to 6 seconds and scale it up so we need to we need to add position keyframes to this as well so press shift P so we got two values over here at the same time position and scale and go over here to four seconds where the movement starts so set a keyframe on position and move to the last second and change the position value as well now we will scale it up until it covers the whole screen and let's have a look at it now so now we want to parent this together as well so because they are not moving together so we will parent this three third layer with two and now they should be moving together well I'll hit undo because I forgot to scale this down I just hit undo so control Z and we will press S on third layer and scale it down until it fits the frame size over here so something like that I'll zoom in to see and we will parent this now so we will parent this third one with second one and let's have a look at it now we want to do the same for this one as well so center the anchor point of it it's already in the center and while having this layer selected have the pen tool selected and zoom in if you want to and make a selection around it carefully and now go to while having this third layer selected press M and change this mask 1 to subtract so we can see the fourth layer inside of the frame so now we go to the fourth layer and press S and scale this to fit the size of the frame so I will scale this, let's try to scale this down and move it no, it doesn't work, so I'll have it at around 80 let's see what it looks like and now I go to second layer, press U to view the keyframes so go to third one press S and set a keyframe on it on scale move to seven seconds set another keyframe keeping the same values and now we move to ninth frame ninth second even and scale it up like so until it covers the whole screen okay so they didn't move together and we fix that by parenting this together with this icon pick whip tool pick whip icon so we parent the fourth one with third one so now they should be moving together let's have another look
now we want to have all this selected so select first one while holding shift click on it and have them all selected and press U to view all the keyframes and we are going to select first one the keyframes for the first layer select all of those press F9 and go to graph editor if your graph doesn't look like this then right click and choose edit speed graph and we will make an adjustment to the curve like that so it zooms in fast and then slows down when it lands to the frame so let's have a look for the first one as you can see it zooms in fast and slows down at the end we will have for the second one we will have all those selected as well press F9 and do the same for those as well so have those selected and do the same adjustment to those as well it zooms in fast and then slows down and for this one as well we select all of those F9 and do the same adjustment And lastly, we press Ctrl A and U to close this all and now click on this toggle switches over here, bottom left and set on all of those a motion blur. So turn this icon and over here turn this on and set all of them give give them a motion blur so what this does is basically so if you move over here to four seconds and go to second layer and if i turn this off and on as you see nothing happens and if i move this to where the movement is taking place as you can see moving objects get blurred so over here if i turn this on and off you can see the difference motion blur makes and now let's have a look at the end animation So that's it for this video, I hope you picked up some tips and tricks that you could use in your own videos and if you did subscribe to the channel and hit the like button as well and I'll see you in the next video.